Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing one more numerical based on the time invariancy, right? So the question will come like, check whether the following system is time invariant or not. Okay. And the system equation will be given as y of n is equal to x of n plus n into x of n minus 2. Clear? Okay. So now we already know that y of n is what basically transform of x of n. Clear? And from here y of n is equal to what? x of n plus n into x of n minus 2. This is clear? No doubt, right? Fine. Now, you have to calculate the output due to input delayed by m units. So, basically, you have to calculate y of n minus n, n comma n. Okay? So, this is equal to what? Transform of x of n minus m all right so this will become what nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to what x of n minus m so this will be what now so this is basically nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to what x of n minus m so just place the values here so this will become x of n minus m plus n into x of n minus 2 minus m okay so this is clear so you calculated what the output due to input delayed by m units fine now let's move further and calculate the output delayed by m units so to calculate this what you have to do nothing right y of n minus m you have to calculate which is nothing but this is equal to y of n when n is equal to n minus m so wherever n is present just replace with n minus m so this will become what so x of n minus m plus n minus m into x of n minus m minus 2 so hope it is clear to you so when you compare y of n comma m with y of n minus m are these equal no these are not equal right these are not at all equal so if these are not equal it means what our system is time variant system time variant system right so basically if the delayed output is not equal to the output due to delayed input then we can say that the system is time variant system so you have to calculate these two things in every example one is what y of n comma m another is what y of n minus m so y of n comma m represents the output due to input delayed by m units and y of n minus m represents the output delayed by m units simple hope you have a clear understanding of time invariant and variant system now still if you have any doubt you can reach out to me you can ask your questions your doubts or if you want me to solve another question you can put that question in the comment box also i will definitely make a video on that question fine so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel